What's up, sixth graders? This is 8.2, and today we'll be discussing surface areas of prisms. So, yes, uh, last lesson you kind of learned what a prism was, and today we're going to look at the surface area. In other words, um, how much area does this three-dimensional shape have? Um, and I'm going to kind of walk you through the steps on how to do that. Learning target, I can describe how to find the surface area of prisms. With um, Starting with a little bit of vocab, we've got the surface area of a solid is the sum. So remember sum is, uh, refers to addition of the areas of all of its faces. All right. You can use a two-dimensional representation of a solid called a net to find the surface area of a solid. Surface area is measured in square units. So, for example, inches squared or feet squared, right? Um, that's because we're taking, when we find area, we're taking length times width, which is two. That's why it's squared, because we're multiplying two different dimensions, length and width, right? So, um, let, what does what does a net look like? We just define that. It's a 2D representation. What I like to think of nets, um, I like to think of um, unfolding um, a box. So like if you're, um, you know, you have a box and maybe you need to flatten it to recycle it. If you were to unfold it, that would that would be what a net would look like. So... A rectangular prism is a prism with rectangular bases. Um, like here, a base on the bottom and a base on the top. You can see that when you unfold and flatten it, these, um, the blue, so this right here, this side, and its opposite side, are they label them side and side. The green, they or it should be right here. They label as front, and then you'd have a back side, front and back. And then the red, you'd have a top and a bottom, or your two bases. So you can see that they label them, which is kind of nice. So when you take this 3D shape and you unfold or flatten it, this is the result. And, and this is, a net look, what is what a net looks like. And we can find the surface area by finding the area of each one of these. So the area of the front would be this length times the height. And that would be for this, and it would be the exact same for the back. So you'd find length times height and multiply it by two to find the front and the back. The same with the blues. You would take um, your width and multiply it by your height, the same height over here but a different width now. And you'd multiply it by two to find the other side. And likewise for the top and bottom, length times width, and then multiply it by two so you can have the top and bottom. Once you have all those answers, you add them together. You find the sum of all of its faces. Remember we talked about faces in the last section. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Um, you'll see here I have a hint. Um, I'm gonna move this box here in, in just a moment and uh, if you want to draw that on your um, notes to, to reveal that hint, um, that's fine. It says, find the surface area of the rectangular prism and use a net to find the area of each face. Now, I have a lot of students ask me, do we have to do a net? And my answer will be, you don't have to, but I think it can be helpful. Some just like to look at this and be like, okay, I know it's four for the length and I know it's three for a height by taking this and applying it over here. So this would be four times three, which would give me 12. And then since I have a side here and a side on the back, uh, times that by two for my blue, the, my left and my right side, I'd end up with uh, 24 square inches. Okay. Now, uh, if you can do that visually in your head, that's okay with me. Okay, so I'm, I'll do that with each side here. So the front would be uh, seven, I'll call it. So 
the green or the front and the back would be seven times three. So seven times three, which would give me 21. And then times that by two to get the back side of this box will give me a total of uh, 42 inches squared. And then lastly, I'd have to do the top and the bottom. So this right here, the length of this is seven and uh, the width of it is the same as this measurement down here of four. So seven times four uh, would give me 28 and then uh, 28 and another 28, uh, 16, uh, 50 would give me 56. So now I have uh, 56 for my top and bottom. I have um, 42 for my front and back and my two sides, I have 24. So if I add all those sides together, I find the sum of them. Okay, 24 plus 42 plus 56. Let's see what I come up with. Uh, six and six is 12, carry my one. Three and four is seven and five is 12. So I get 122 um, inches squared or 122 square inches for my surface area of this rectangular prism, right? That's the way I, in act, to tell you the truth, that's the way I prefer to do it. Um, but I'll show you the net method as well. Um, let me move, remove this hint. See if I can scroll here and it cooperates with me. There we go. So if I were to unfold this, uh, hopefully I can get my pen back here. If I were to unfold this box, this rectangular prism, this is essentially what it would look like. And it's you'll notice I got the same things. The red was seven times four, so seven times four. And then I multiplied that by two for the top and the bottom. My two sides and my front and my back. So. Um, this is what the net looks like drawn out if you unfold this box. But I am going to leave that up to you to determine if you want to do that or not. Right? Let's see if I can get my pen back here. All right. So uh, let's, let's try, uh, let's move on and try another one. Um, and be introduced to another type of prism. And that's a triangular prism. And we're still looking for uh, to find surface area of this. But what you have to be careful with is your bases in a triangular prism are triangles. Okay? <laughs> Makes sense, right? When you unfold it, this is, I, I like to think of this as a tent, that helps me visualize it. When you unfold it, um, you're left with two sides, a front and a back, and a bottom, just, just like you would in a tent. And your front and backs are triangles, and the area formula for a triangle, remember, is base times height divided by two. And again, the reason is because if you take a rectangle and you cut it in half, you have two triangles. That's why we divide it by two. Base times height divided by two to find the area of one triangle. So um, that's really the, the big difference here in these types of problems. So it says find the surface area of the triangular prism um, and use a net. All right. Once again, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to visualize first, and then I'll show you the hint or how to use it, how to use a net to find it. Um, so I'm going to start with my um, my front and my back. Um, and so that would be uh, green. So front and back. Um, 
my green triangles here, base is 12 times my height, it looks like it's 5. 12 times 5 divided by 2 to find the area of one triangle. So 12 uh, times 5 would give me 60. Divided by 2 is 30. And then the that would just be for the front. So for the back, I add another 30. So I would get a total of 60 centimeters squared for my front and my back. Um, next up, um, let's do the two sides. So in this case, I've got the blue is a side and the yellow is a side. Uh, one side is straight up and down, the other one's pretty slanted. This looks more like a ramp, right? But if you're visualizing this ramp, uh, this is actually just a rectangle. So um, for my sides, um, I have, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my blue side first. Um, so my blue side would be, it's 13 long times the width of it is uh, 8 centimeters. And 13 times 8 would give me 104 centimeters squared. And then I'll do the other side, which is the yellowish side. And notice that this is different dimensions. So it's, it's, it's 5 by 8. So the yellow side is 5 by 8. So 5 times 8 would give me 40. And the one you can't forget about is, is the bottom, the bottom of the ramp. So uh, the bottom is uh, 8 by 12. So 12 by 8. Uh, 12 times 8 is 96. Uh, and that's centimeters squared. And in the end, I just need to, I need to add up all of my faces here. So 96 plus 40 plus 104 plus 60. What does that give you? Uh, you should come up with 300 centimeters squared. And 40 plus 96 plus 60 plus uh, 104 give you 300 centimeters squared. And again, um, let's take a look at what um, this net looks like if you prefer to do it this way, which is just fine. If I were to unfold it, unfold the back and the front, I'd have a couple of triangles. Kind of almost looks like a ship here. Unfold the sides. So if I were to grab it up here and unfold it this way, and take the yellow side and unfold it the other way and lay it flat. You can see we have 13 times 8 and 5 times 8 and 12 times 8. These are all matching up to what we did. So um, there is what your net would look like for the unfolded um, triangular prism. All right. Uh, lastly, there are six on your own problems here, and uh, these take a little bit longer. You can probably tell than your average your average problem, just because you have to find that area of each one of the faces. Uh, so go ahead and pause pause the video now. Um, see what you come up with, um, and for sure let me know if you have questions. I'm not going to go through each one of them and explain each one of them. Um, rather, I'll just give you the answers to see if you're doing them right. And uh, if you have questions, just, just let me know. All right. Hopefully my pen is working again. All right. And for number one, hopefully it came up with 258 meters squared. Number two, 180. Yeah inches squared. Number three, 286 feet squared. Number four, 60 yards squared. Number five, 
by 420 uh, meters squared. And uh, number 26, 299.32 feet squared. Like I said, uh, if you have questions, let me know. Um, but these do take a little bit of time. Um, it really helps if you organize like front and back, top and bottom, sides, kind of label it so you can really easily find what you found for each measure. The nets can be a little bit tricky, but if you do um, use them, they can be definitely helpful. So um, hopefully that's a, a decent explanation of the surface areas of prisms. Um, ask me or a friend if you need a little bit more help and best of luck on 8.2 with homework and I will see you next time.